So when you're citing on something like a poster, you're not going to do a works cited page or you're not going to do parenthetical citations like you would in an essay where you have the parentheses and author's last name. So what people use in professional publications like posters or brochures or things like that is actually footnotes. Okay, so we're going to show you how to do footnotes. And basically, if this was your poster, um, you are going to put a, a number one after your first fact, like this. And then you'll put a number two after your second fact. And how you do that is you just, under the home ribbon, you just go right up here, and this little X with the two above it is the superscript button. So you just click that, and then you type your, oh, I guess we're in a two, okay? So for each fact, you add a new number. So one, two, three, etc. And then what you're gonna do is create a box in the bottom where you will have your citations that match those, okay? So for the first fact, you're gonna then paste in the citation that goes along with that. So I'm going to draw another teeny tiny text box and put it right here. And you might think, oh, it's gonna be so small, nobody can see it. That doesn't really matter, okay? The, the important part is that your citation is there, and really the rest of it is about the visuals, okay? Um, so people want to be able to find the citation if they need it, but, um, but it should not be the focus of what you're doing, okay? So again, I'm gonna add in um, the one. See how tiny that is? That's okay, we don't want it to get in the way of our beautiful poster. And then I'm going to shut off the one right after it. Um, and I'm going to go and copy my source from my EasyBib, okay? So I'm just going to copy this one if this was my first source. I'm going to do control C and then I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint or my um, publisher and I'm going to do control V. Oops. Uh, oh no, that's right, okay? So see how tiny it is, but that the one is just a little bit higher than the other one, okay? So that's gonna be number your number one. And then um, if you have a number two, let's say your second fact comes from the same um, source, you're gonna put your two in there. You're gonna do home ribbon, superscript two, unsuperscript it, and then you're just going to type in I-B-I-D with a period after it. That is an abbreviate, abbreviation for a Latin word that means the same, okay? And then that's all you would do. And if the next citation is different, you would again do I-B-I-D, um, I-B-I-D, and if it's a new one, then you would paste your new, um, your new citation from EasyBib after the number three. All right, so that's the quick version of how you create footnotes. And notice, once your box is done, you're going to have to kind of adjust the size of it and adjust the size of your other um, text so that it all fits on there and you can see everything you need to see.